Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Day one of Road to the Knockout was crazy and the market was all over the place. These brand new cards are really hype and a lot of people are using them, but the market's getting to a very interesting place where it almost feels like we may have hit the peak in these past couple of days and now prices are really just starting to go down. So I want to take a look at that in the video today because the market yesterday did react a little bit like we thought it was going to. But now heading into today on Saturday, it looks a lot different than I thought it was going to be. A lot of player prices are not holding the rises that we saw after content yesterday. They're starting to drop off even more. And with, of course, compensation still looming, could we get that compensation today, which could even supply a little bit more cards on the market in terms of the promo cards and the golds that are in packs. Could that even hurt the market more today? And especially with some of the content that could potentially be upcoming as well, things might not be looking for the market. So we're going to take a look at a lot of stuff, especially seeing now how the market is reacting to this Road to the Knockouts promo. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. We're going to start looking at some graphs and looking at some prices because as I'm recording this video right now, it's a little bit later than usual. Um, as I'm recording this video right now, a lot of the road to knockout cards got really low a couple hours ago, like about an hour or two ago, and they started to rebound back up, right? Lionel Messi, 1.7 million coins. Yesterday, of course, comes into packs at 1.6, gets rare to 1.9 as people go out and play weekend league squads, drops all the way down back to 1.4, 1.4 lows, and he just kind of rebounded back up off of rarity to 1.7 where he is now. I actually picked up an Aubameyang and a Foden and a couple Terriers, like 13K in this dip. I know some of you guys are probably trading with these as well. It's one of my favorite ways to trade with cards is on Friday nights with brand new promo cards heading into Saturdays. They they usually do decently well, right? And these cards, I think, are very, very hyped, and that's why um, we saw them move a lot yesterday, right? Phil Foden went from 400K in the first hour all the way to 500K, went all the way back down to where he was at 400, where I picked one up, and went back to 450. And again, as we head into today on Saturday, I think people will be getting on Weekend League, playing with these some of these cards, and you will see a few cards rise up from this promo team specifically uh, this morning on Saturday and into today a little bit. Now, that's probably the most active and like lively part of the market, if I'm being completely honest. There's been a couple other cards that have moved around as well. But overall, for this Road to the Knockout team, it looks, I think, solid. I think a lot of these cards are pretty decent. I mean, a bombing, of course, is just a massive upgrade. And if you take a look at some of the other cards they put out, like Thomas Muller with a very nice upgrade on his card as well. So GG's the EA for, you know, the cards that are put in this team that we maybe wouldn't, you know, necessarily use before, like the Thomas Muller, like the Sule, nice pace boost on him. Goosen's objective card's really good as well. But yesterday's content was mostly based around the cards and packs and that Goosen's card, right? The, the SPC for Kulusevsky, just a little bit overpriced. And I think, especially after we had an insane Sterling SBC on Thursday, that SBC is what people would do instead of Kudusevsky. Um, and especially since that Sterling could upgrade as soon as like, you know, a, a week and a half from now, or even this next week, if you were getting an inform from their game this weekend, you know, that card, I think, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more. I think that Sterling SBC is like a really, really big dub and so many people are doing it. But yesterday's Road to the Knockout content was solid. Great cards and packs. Uh, the SBC, again, a little bit expensive, but the Goosen's objective for only six gains. And you can play left back, left wing back, and left mid. That card, of course, even without any upgrades, looks pretty decent uh, in a Serie A squad at the moment. Now, let's talk about the market because a lot of things yesterday kind of went according to planned until later in the Friday night into today on Saturday time frame. Guys like Cristiano Ronaldo, right? We, of course, saw a lot of panic selling on the early Friday morning hours as people were scared and just anticipating the brand new promo and getting psyched for it, right? And of course, as you saw with a lot of these cards, we saw some panic selling. Using our Ronaldo example here, he's 475,000 coins at the moment. On Friday, he started at like 500K, panic sold all the way down to about 450. He was 450 right before the content drop. We saw a massive buyback. He went all the way back up to 500,000 coins. He might have even been like 520 for a quick bit. But then after that, stuff just kind of started to settle again. And what I was expecting, and I think what a lot of us were expecting to see, was these high tier meta gold cards that people are still getting coins for. Um, and upgrading in their teams too. And, you know, of course, we expected more coins to come onto the market yesterday through weekend league rewards, 
through people opening uh, packs in the store. So I expected the market to kind of rebound and stay a little bit higher than what it was, kind of like what happened last week after the ones to watch, right? Well, kind of the opposite has happened. Take a look at Ronaldo. He's gone from 500K all the way back down to 457 where he was. We had some really, really low late night um, prices. Now, cards have kind of bounced up a little bit from where that panic selling has kind of gone. But I mean, I just take a look at a lot of these prices. Benzema 91 is 99. 9,000 coins. Uh, and this guy was 130k, panic sold to 114, bounced back a little bit, and over the nighttime has really dropped off a lot. It just really feels like this we may have hit the peak, right? We may have hit the peak point uh, of the market, and now we're just going to be in that time where the gold cards start to slide off, like we talked about a couple videos ago. The market always crashes in October. Usually it's during like the middle of the month, you know, a couple weeks in. Right now it's what, the 8th of October, so we're not super far into the month yet. Um, but like looking at these prices, especially on your gold cards on the lower tier, and we have been talking about this for a while, but the lower tier gold cards got wrecked yesterday. I mean, St. Maximin was still 35,000 coins on um, Wednesday, the three, literally three days ago. He is now half that price at 16K, right? The lower tier cards, look at Gabriel Jesus, Chalmany, uh, these guys that are back in packs after being out of packs for ones to watch. And they get absolutely destroyed. That's why we were trying to sell those guys and we were talking about selling them earlier on in the week. But it's not even those low tier guys. I mean, take a look at like, you know, 90, 91 Benzema that we looked at, right? Or Jota is 43,000 coins after being 68K on Wednesday. Um, I really just think that the supply is starting to take over for a lot of these gold cards, but I also think that people are doing more SBCs. Think about the SBCs that we have had recently. Here's where I'm going to talk about that Sterling SBC again. I think that so many people actually did the Sterling SBC because fodder went down yesterday after content. Maybe then people went out and did the Tiago Silva SBC as well or the Valverde player of the month. You know, I think people's coins have been drained a little bit and the supply is starting to catch up and coins are being drained. Wow, and we have a dynamic image now for the Sterling GGs. Um, you know, I think that's what's kind of, that's what's happening at the moment a little bit is people are starting to do a few more SBCs and the supply is just starting to catch up. And especially with these brand new promo cards that are coming out, this is another aspect of it too. People were going and selling their Ronaldo yesterday or their Erling Holland gold card. Take a look at Erling's gold, man. This guy was like 340,000 coins multiple times yesterday, rebounded back up to like 383.90 multiple times. And right now he's back again in kind of the low 350, 360 range, potentially rising back up a little bit into today on Saturday. But I think a lot of the reason why you know, these gold cards are down too. And a lot of the market is down is because we have these road to the knockouts that are brand new items. And let's be honest, they're really, they're really not that expensive, right? You know, I know that I bought a bombing to try to flip and trade with, but let's say you had Ronaldo, you know, you buy this Aubameyang card, he's literally a um, hundred thousand coins more than what, um, Ronaldo is right now, and Ronaldo was 500 and uh, like, you know, 50,000 coins just a couple of days ago before he really started to drop off. So I think people sold cards during these last couple of days. They had some coins ready to try out new stuff this weekend, and they're trying out these brand new promo cards as well. So, you know, and when people change teams, and this is something that doesn't get talked about a lot, but it's really really a big aspect of how the market is impacted every single weekend on FIFA. When people change up their teams, and especially when a promo team like this comes out with a lot of really good players in it, that again, realistically aren't that expensive, even though the pack weight on these cards is not that crazy, right? It's like 1% from a 45K pack. We can take a look at that in a second. Um, you know, people go out and they change their teams and every time they're buying and selling players and, and switching things out, they're losing coins, if you think about it, right? Because that 5% EA tax, a lot of times people are actually losing coins like just because the price of the player drops as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is what's causing this market drop off to happen right now. And just the fact that, you know, the, the, the gold card market didn't rebound and even the high tier meta cards didn't rebound that well yesterday. That really scares me for how the next couple of weeks could be going on this game. Also... To add insult to injury, I guess you could say, we have some pretty crazy packs that have been added to the code. Now, this does not mean that these packs could be like today or tomorrow or, you know, even this next week. But a Foot Heroes pack, a Base Icon pack, 
and a couple of others. They, an 84 plus rare gold, an 81 plus double. You know, there's a team of the week player pack that is included in here as well. These have all been added to the code. And what I really think this is, is this brings some of the first, you know, potential panic or potential opportunity for some of the biggest upgrade SBCs, coin sync gamble SBCs that we have had this year. Now, again, I don't know when these SBCs are going to be dropping. This Team of the Week player SBC, Foot Sheriff, actually just tweeted a couple minutes ago saying the Team of the Week upgrade should come next week, right? So I'm, right now, today's Saturday. I am guessing that that assumes the, the Team of the Week upgrade would be somewhere between like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I, I think that's what next week means. We'll have to see. That's a really interesting leak that he has any sort of information around that. But if they're going to give out a Team of the Week upgrade SBC, we haven't had a single SBC that's required Team of the Weeks thus far. What that makes me think is, are they going to drop a hero upgrade or a base icon upgrade um, that would maybe require those Team of the Week cards? Again, I don't know. Or are they just dropping a Team of the Week SBC uh, to try to get us to go and do that upgrade SBC and so that we maybe don't, you know, uh, they, they're trying to control the rise of the inform cards or like the discard informs, if you will on the market um, by putting this out early on in the game. Again, that's a question that we don't know the answer to. Of course, we still have like the Road to the Knockouts Foundations pack um, and the Essentials pack in here as well. Also yesterday, kind of kind of really interesting, we had a new card design leak. This is the Player Moments SBC design. And usually when they update a new card design, think about it, we saw like that dynamic duo that was dropped, um, you know, a couple days after they added a new design. So. It really seems like with this Road to the Knockouts promo as well, they're going to start turning up the content, right? With those card designs, with those pack codes that have been added. And again, what really is going to make the market continue to drop is continued supply from packs in the store, from SBCs. And of course, if there's good content and good SBCs that are dropped, that's going to make prices on this game drop as well as people are turning towards those cards instead of maybe buying something off the market. Um, and you know, the rise that we had seen in the early part of the game thus far, the first two weeks, it really had to end at some point. Um, so, if, you know, if you have some guys in your team, like let's say, you know, you maybe have like a tradable Usman Dembele who was like 100K and now he's 84, 85,000 coins. You know, unless there's a lot of panic today and there's some crazy leaks or some crazy information, I'm not going to sit here and tell you today that Usman is going to go to like 50,000 coins by the end of today or tomorrow. I don't think that's going to be the case. I just think that you might see these cards be the prices be a little bit stagnant today unless there's a huge leak of course uh we always have to throw that caveat out there because if they leak or a foot sheriff says like yo icon sbc is coming on monday or sunday then you know that would cause some big time panic still think it'd be a bit early for that but you know i, I just think that if you're holding a card that you're playing with for a weekend league just be a little bit careful with that. And now we're getting into that time of the year where I think people are also not going to want to hold cards for that long um, just because they know the potential uh, that these cards will have to drop like every single day. And I think that's what even that's just something that we see pretty commonly throughout the weekends and the weekend leagues um, throughout the year. But we haven't seen yet because weekend league hadn't started yet is that a lot of times you see these late night drops where people sell off cards uh, because they just don't want to hold their cards overnight and they're they fear that those are dropping. So yeah, the market right now just, it, you know, it feels, it feels like we hit the peak on Wednesday. Um, and, and now prices are just kind of starting to trickle downwards. And, you know, I wouldn't call it panic or it's not, it is a little bit of a crash, but I still think you'll see some player prices bounce back further today as well. Even as we head into next week on Monday, because I'm not expecting any crazy content today on Saturday or tomorrow on Sunday. I still think you'll see a few player prices rise up, but it's just crazy how I thought the market, and I think a lot of people thought the same way, that the market was going to at least rebound back up a little bit closer to where we were price-wise uh, in the week last week. Like, yeah, Usman Dembele was 100, and he went down to like 90 or, you know, in the 90s, but I was expecting to go back up to maybe like 95 or something like that. Uh, Rafael Leao Inform was like 78,000 coins just a couple hours ago before I you know, started recording this video. And now he's kind of bounced back up. I think a lot of people are waking up right now, Saturday morning, getting some champs games in. It's like 7 a.m. UK time right now. The video is late when I'm recording this. Uh, actually, it might be 8 a.m. No, it's 7 a.m. Just kidding. Five hour difference. But, um, you know, I think people are waking up, playing some champs games. That's why you're seeing a few of these cards bouncing. Uh, so if you have a card that you bought during the late night hours that is 
that has gone up. I think it might be a decent time to cash. I'm looking to get this Phil Foden out at like 450. If possible, it keeps like getting undercut here at like 440. I think I'm, I'll be able to get a sale at 450, I think. But I bought an Aubameyang as well at, um, you know, 579, I think is what it was. And I flipped this guy from um, 600K, no, 700K to like 770 yesterday. Uh, but he's he's just kind of, he's rare, but also, you know, one thing you have to be really careful with, and I'll, you know, we'll talk about this in promos in the future too, when you're trading with these cards overnight, you got to be careful with people because of course people try to trade with these, but they list really stupidly overnight. Uh, there was a guy that listed all four of these Aubameyangs that he bought one, two, three, four, four Aubameyangs listed at 619,000 coins all overnight. I mean, this guy wouldn't have got these for any less than like 560 K because that was the low that Aubameyang went to. I mean, that's really just not smart at all to be listing those cards overnight like that. If I'm listing a card overnight, it's like I'm listing even if I have multiple of them, I'm going to list one or two of them and I'm going to list them at different prices uh, because I'm not expecting at all. Um, wow, this is the center attacking positions too. Yeah, this is sell for 450. So I don't want to flood the market with listings and maybe potentially inhibit that card from rising further. That's just a little bit of a tip if you're going to list cards overnight. So it kind of sucks. There's a bombing. I mean, I'm technically right now like almost breaking even if he would go to like 630, 640K. He's still a pretty rare card and one of the biggest upgrades that is out there and people might want to try him today. So I think he could rebound back up a little bit. Um, but real quick, towards the end of this video, I just want to also talk about uh, SBC fodder and the road to the knockout cards for a second. Since we got this stuff leaked, we got that player moments design that is out. Fodder is down bad. Um, and for you guys that really like investing in SBC fodder, I think that there are areas of the market with, with the market turning this way, right? With the player prices starting to drop down, people are getting more and more coins. If EA were to release an SBC, like a team of the week upgrade foot heroes or base icon pack, you know, fodder would absolutely benefit from those coming out. I think it is an absolute beauty of a time to start thinking about club stocking. I know the whole unassigned situation this year is some people say yes, some people say no, you can go unassigned. I've seen both. I don't know. Haven't tried it myself. Haven't figured that out. But at least a club stock, and that's what I want to be better at this year and want to be a lot more consistent at, is club stocking informs, club stocking um, fodder cards, and I think they have a potential to rise. Right now, there is a huge discrepancy in price between the 84s and the 85s. I mean, 5.9K for 85s, 11, 12K for 86s, but only 1.6K for 84s. I know that the SBCs have not been requiring a lot of chemistry, um, which is, you know, I guess maybe inhibiting the rise a little bit on some of these 84s as well. We used to think about good leagues, good nations, but, you know, you can't go wrong with like an 84 rated Hummel center back card at like 1.6K. These guys were 2.3K on Wednesday. And if the content is going to start to ramp up, is if EA is going to try to drain some coins, you can see this, this card's already back up to 1.9. I think it's a great opportunity to club stock some of these 84s. I would say even the 85s and 86s, right? You take a look at Serge Nabry, who's 6,000 coins. Uh, I mean, he was 10K. That's more of like a actually being usable in game. Let's look at a guy like Patrick Schick, who's been fodder since the start. This guy was 7,000 coins on Wednesday. He's now 5.8. So I think it's a great time to club stocks and fodder, even on the higher rated stuff too. This guy, These guys were incredible to get on bid during the lightning rounds, or not the lightning rounds, during like the promo pack supply yesterday, but Modric, 22,000 coins, Tony Cruz, 22,000 coins. These guys were, uh, of course, more than that being, you know, fodder cards, you know, as the Valverde and other SBCs came out in the past couple of days. So I think fodder is a really, really good stock on the, on all levels, to be completely honest, because, you know, if EA is going to do some sort of icon upgrade SBC or something like that, they're probably going to have some of those higher rated squad requirements in there as well. But specifically for a team of the week upgrade, which is the most likely, I think some of those lower tier ones should do really good. Now, lastly, no, got, we don't even need a footbin or a somebody on Twitter to make a tracker for these road to the knockout cards. And just to explain these really quick here at the end of the video, um, these cards are, I mean, shoot, EA is tracking it for us and they're telling us how they're going to get upgraded. So a road to a knockout item will receive a wins upgrade. It's basically the same criteria to upgrade as last year. They will get a plus one upgrade or an inform upgrade if their club wins two games 
out of the remaining three group stage match days. So, of course, EA is even showing us here who they play, right? PSG plays Benfica. I forget that team's name. And then Juve. If they win against these first two teams and then lose to Juve, and maybe they're you know they're they're kind of tanking and, and done, and they know they've they've won the group, then boom, right? They're in, and they qualify. And they won two games, so Messi would get a plus two. He'd go to a 94. He'd get both upgrades. So again, you get one upgrade for qualifying to the knockout stage and one upgrade for winning two out of the last three games, which again, this is going to happen so, so, so fast because a lot of these games are, are approaching rapidly. And the best part about this is EA. This is something that I, I was hoping to see forever in the last couple of years of Road to the Final. I've been saying this for the last two years. EA needs to tell us when they're going to upgrade these cards. And they have said here the next upgrades go live in game from October 21st, which does seem like a little bit of time. Uh, but, you know, you know, it is what it is. At least they're telling us what the dates are from when they're going to upgrade these cards. So October 21st is when the first upgrades will get locked in. I mean, technically, um, I think. The only ones that would be on the verge of getting upgraded already would be a club that has won all three games and would this week, uh, you know, clinch a fourth win in the group stage, which is basically like the guarantee of, you know, advancing to the next round. Um, of course, it depends on the group, but I think if you win four games in the group stages, you're, you're in. So City, Real Madrid, PSG, Bayern, you got to look at those guys, Valverde, Foden, Messi, and Muller, because they might be kind of locking in their upgrades this next week during match day number four of UCL. So that's kind of interesting to see on here. Uh, the mini release on Sunday is going to contain, I believe, four cards. It's going to contain... Um, let's see that. Oh, they took them off of here. Okay. So the cards were actually on the tracker earlier. Uh, it was Bremer. Uh, man, I forget all the guys that are on here. Now there, there was a few of them that were shown on here. Um, that EA is going to release in the mini release on Sunday. Bremer's, uh, probably the biggest name. It's going to be released that we saw on there. I, I can't look, I can't remember those guys right now. We'll talk about that, of course, more heading into tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, but it is nice to see that EA's got a nice little tracker set up here for us on how they're going to do that stuff. And I mean, let's be honest, yesterday's content was not terrible. They also released, and I don't want to gloss over this, I didn't really look at it yesterday on stream, but they released an SBC that actually gives you um, a position change modifier. You can do it five times, and it's one bronze player. Absolutely incredible eSports. Big GGs to you guys there. Uh, that's a big time GG there. So just really quick last second as well to go back to the market side of things. What could we see today as I'm going to open a couple of packs here really fast um, because I have some in the store for the video to end it off. What could we see today on Saturday market-wise? I think you might see a little bit of panic selling heading into the content drop as people just expect something today on Saturday. They saw a lot of movement yesterday on the market. I think you could see a few cards get panic sold off today, especially if it's a rare card like a Foden, if it's a bombing, I would watch those guys' prices because they might be able to fluctuate um, you know, later on today on Saturday with that. And watch out for the leaks. I'm not expecting anything crazy today by any means in terms of um, content that EA could release. Like a, maybe a player moments SBC. The weekends are when we usually do see some decent SBC player content. And then during the weeks, it slows down. That happened during the ones to watch promo. So again, question mark for sure for today on what's how it's going to be going down and stuff. But we are going to have to keep an eye on that for today on Saturday. We have a couple more packs to open. Yesterday was actually pretty good for me pack luck wise. I saved like seven or nine packs or something like that. And I hit, you know, Inform, Sorloth. I hit Alfonso Davies. Um, these are my qualifier rewards. I qualified for weekend league. I have to get those games in later. Um, and I hit Dembele as well. So a couple of those guys go straight into the team. I'll take this fodder because I am going to do Kulusevsky. And I think I might have to do Raheem Sterling as well because I think everybody is doing that SBC right now in this game. Um, just the way that left wings look like left wing suns, like 100K. It's crazy as I continue to get boards here. Um, Jordi Alba, that's sick. I actually have a tradable one in my team right now. Uh, that I paid 10k for I got a hunter and a shadow in this pack. Oh, this pack is tradable. Oh my goodness Okay, I'm gonna put that on the transfer list. We will take that and last one last pack of the video Champions qualifiers rewards paying out with another set of boards another Spanish board It's going to be a fodder card de Tomas. So can't complain too much there 
Um, but the pack luck yesterday seemed to be pretty solid, and I can't complain about that. Hopefully, we have a good weekend today, uh, good weekend league games. If you guys are grinding the weekend league, best wishes. If you guys are trading and made coins yesterday, um, we made a lot of coins from flipping those high-tier rare cards. And if you see panic today, that was the last thing I was going to say about today's market on Saturday. If you see high-tier cards that are rare, get low from panic selling. You're going to have great opportunities to flip some of these guys and their prices. If there is panic today, uh, you will have great opportunities to make coins on those. So watch out for these new road to the knockouts. They are exciting. They are very popular. Their card prices are going to move as they already have been. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.